Hello, and welcome to yet another This Week in Gnome episode. Coco Chan? That is your first episode. You already missed 35 weeks. <laughs> so, this week we have the Gnome 42 release, and perhaps you know the release notes. But did you know we have a new site for them? And not to mention you can watch the release video before anyone else, and even leak it and spoil all the fun? Which would be really funny! Okay then! Coco, pull yourself together! Okay, back on track! So we have some highlights of GNOME 42 release, like the dark mode and the new screenshot tool, and some links. And then, we have the release of libadway to 1.1 that brings a couple of fixes. First we have the header suffixes for the preferences group, that allows to add a widget next to the group's title. So in the case of settings app we can add the picture button on the same row. Next we have the selectable titles for the action rows, so we can now select the text and copy it or whatever. On cross compatibility land, we have some support for the Windows MSVC, and also support for the dark mode on Mac OS. Both important fixes! And of course we have various other fixes and cleanups. On circle apps and libraries, we have the second release of identity app. At first it has initial port for lib add wait and second it introduces tabs for comparing the videos. But on this case I'm using the same MKV because I'm so smart, so we can't compare anything. There is also a new trimmer release with new translations. Metadata Cleaner 2.2 release is now using GNOME 42 runtime, and this is seriously an app everyone should have, because it is only a matter of time to actually need it. And obviously? Like every GNOME app that respects itself, metadata can scale accordingly. Truly amazing job from GNOME on that part! And animated checkboxes for complete cuteness? Next is one of my favorite tools. Commit in version 3.1, among other things, it is now powered by GTK source view, so it has also highlight syntax. Yep, we all love CLI, but trust me, this is actually cool, so give it a try if you haven't already. Next is apostrophe version 2.6, that brings multi-window support, a dark preference support, and new widgets by Live Handy. But I'm refusing to run GTK3, so I politely pass. Sorry! Now, on third-party projects we have Random 1.4 release, that brings a redesigned roulette view. Let me show you maybe? Next we have a new release of Workbench, that first updates to GNOME 42 platform, and then it adds some extras, like taking a screenshot of the preview. If you don't know, Workbench is a playground for GNOME JavaScript, that updates in real time, so here it will get the baby woke text instantly. And a picture, so we'll never forget. Next we have an update to Portfolio File Manager, that improves the UX for unlocking devices, plus it includes various fixes. I promise you I will make a full review on this app when it gets updated on GTK4, but I'm telling you already, it is one of the best designed apps in whole GNOME. Okay, next! We have a new FOSS release that adds an indicator for mobile data, and also implements portal access. And finally we have a massive update on Fractal Next, but the big news is the SSO support that was merged this week. I remind you you can get Fractal Next from GitLab already, and if you do, you will now see you can use single sign-on authentication. Well, I'm not gonna do that right now, but instead, let me show you the image drag and drop feature that works pretty nice. And in every reality, Fractal is the best GNOME app ever made till today. So, 
That was all for this week. And if you are a GNOME developer, please don't miss to submit your work on this week. Bye bye!